Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how to create navigation menu in Azure. Okay, so now let's start it. And this is a project Azure I'm working on. So now here I've been going to create a navigation menu in Matter. Okay. I'm going to create a menu in Matterpress because I want to reuse that menu for all of the pieces in our project. Okay. So here I click on plus button here to add a new matter. Okay. I will name it in matter one. Double click on this one to open the design for matterpad. Okay. And here for this matterpad, I will create navigation. I open the library, tie in the menu. Okay. Draft and drop the classic menu. Okay. I click double click to edit the name of the menu item and name it home and this one will be the product mm, no, no. introduction product okay so now here right click on this one add menu after menu item after this one okay news service okay and i have a contact or something like this okay i'm going ahead to create some pet for product news and services So for the news, I will create some the uh, sub menu for this. I click on the news and right click on this, add sub menu. Yeah, by default it will create three items here for me. Okay, new zero one, new zero two, new zero three. If you want to add more item, you can right click on this one and add sub menu after. Okay. New number four. Okay. For the service, I will also add some the sub menu. Okay, so here, if you want to delete a uh, sub menu here, you can right, right click on this one and delete menu item. Okay. So here for the home page, when the user click on the home, I will direct the user back to the home page here. Okay. I will select this one and select the interaction, new interaction. Click or tap event here. Okay, I will select the open the link, select the home bed. Okay, I have more option. You can change the target to open the to navigate the user to home page on the current window, or even open it in a, in a new window, new tab, in pop up window or parent window. Okay, I will keep it by default. Click OK button. Okay. For the interaction, I'm going to have to create a new interaction pad here. Okay. I can change order of this one by the drop and drop here. No. It should be the same level with the home. Okay. 
I will click on the interaction and click on new interaction here click or tab open the window link interaction okay for the product it should be the same thing or oh, we have bought product here okay 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 let me delete one pet delete this one okay product okay news services and one more page is contact us okay i save it up okay so here i will open the home page okay you see here i have a home page interaction is blank Look in it. No, no blind product here. News blind services. It blind contact is really blind because this is the new created. So here I back to the home page. Okay. I open the master and I copy this one. No, no, sorry. I back to the home page. Just wrap and drop this one here. Oh, it big here. It very big. Okay. Back to the master here. I will create a logo for this. I will use the plate holder. Mm, I will change the coordinate coordinates for this one is forty. No, no, it should be uh, okay. No, no. Okay. Save it back to the home page. Okay, I will change the coordinates for this one. Hmm, it should be there. Yeah, so now here I'm going to change the coordinates of the item on the page because I want to make the consistent between all the pieces in my project. Okay.
So now here I'm trying to run the project preview. Okay. You, you can see on the top of the menu, I have the logo and the navigation menu here. Okay. I have the home iteration and the product news. So when I hover the news, it will drop out the, the, the sub menu here. Same thing for services. Okay, if I click on the product, it will direct me to the product page. Okay, the so same thing for the introduction. Oh, this is blank page. This is blank page. Okay, back to the home and the product news home services. Contact. Okay, cool. I like the introduction using the matter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We are we are using the master template because if I want, if I want to have some the modification for the logo or the, the text or even the link of the menu item, so it would be easier for me to change it in the master template. Okay. Search and one blade so it will inflect as uh, it will affect into all of the pieces in our system. Okay, for example, I click on the master one, I change it either the name for the contact, con uh, you need have okay, something like this. Okay, save it and I open the website again. Back to the home page. Yeah. <clears throat> you see the contact tag has been changed to change the to the unit have tag. Okay. It will be consistent on all of the places here. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to create a master menu navigation for the web page. Okay, hope that video will have fun for you. Let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later.